Aquarius. Why you got on so delirious, baby? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Viva. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2021. Baby, the party has just begun. We are here, baby. We are here, my dear. I want to give a big shout out to all my OGs. A big shout out to all my newbies. A big shout out to every last one of my babies who have liked, shared, subscribed, and clicked this video. If there is anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading with me, or if these videos resonate and you want to share some love, send a little support to the page, go ahead and check out the description box of this video. Or you can click the about tab on my YouTube page. It gives a pricing list and various ways to support and to contact me. The best way to contact me to book a reading is on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com, okay? So, um, I don't know why I got distracted and some phone calls that came through in the last video I tried to record but my nose has been itching and I did not even look up what that means but I know y'all know what that means what does that mean when the tip of someone's nose is itching I've been feeling that ever since I've been trying to record y'all's videos I don't know if I, I don't think that that's a bad thing but find out what that means because that that definitely is something related to y'all's energy in this video um but anyway so, you know, as we always do, we give acknowledgement, praises, we give Father God, the creator, the universe, however it is you want to call him, uh, however it is that, you know, he's present and resonates in your life. We like to give him his flowers before we go into any reading. So, um, if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me, let's say a quick prayer. Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aquarius. We thank you so much for allowing us to just bask under the sun, enjoy nature's and smell the flowers. Look, watch, just being able to just sit still and just watch nature, how things are just blooming around in our life, Father God. You know, we have not been in a state of lack. We have not even been in a place where we just want anything too deeply. We just feel so satisfied in our life, Father God, and we're just so grateful. We just feel so willing and able. And and we're just watching things uh, progress in our life, Father God. And we just feel so safe, Father God. We just feel so comfortable. And we just thank you so much, Father God. We're so grateful for your love. We're so grateful for your abundance. We're so grateful for your light, Father God. We tan, we bask, we sunbathe under your light. <laughs> Father God, they don't even understand. You know, they don't understand why we so blessed. It's the God in me, man. It is the God in me. We lack no vitamin D, baby. We go out there under them sun rays and we get kissed by that sun, Father God. We thank you for all of the light and all of the blessings that you've just brought into our life, Father God. We thank you for allowing us to learn how to release grief. You know, release it. Let it go. You know, let it burn. We just, we just thank you for learning how to um, go through the progress of just self-growth and enlightenment with elegance. We're learning how to do it with elegance and grace. Um, and we just thank you for just being in this place. Father God, please give us the guidance and the wisdom and the light and the love that we need to receive from above from you, Father God, because only you can do it. Please give us the guidance that we need to receive uh, for the sign of Aquarius. We thank you so much. We thank you. We thank you. And we love you. And we thank you so much for your abundant love. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So let's get into this because we ain't going to look. Let thou not be distracted again. We ain't about to. Uh -uh, come on now. Everybody be keep calling my phone, distracting me. Okay. So let's see what we Oh, so in the other video, thank you so much, Father God, because let's keep that on track. So in the other video, I was like seeing a spider web. And I was saying something about y'all's lore, your attractiveness, how you know how to lure certain creatures whatever it is that you're trying to consume at this moment whatever it is um you know how to glamorize and allure people or these things these opportunities whatever it is is to you but i was thinking about a spider web but then god said no not the spider web the world wide web the web the web you know what i'm saying so 
I don't know if you guys have like a page where you're selling some products, you're giving advice, whatever it is, or if it's just comedy, commentation, um, I mean, sorry, you being a, a commentator, whatever it is, it's like you have a type of attraction, you have a certain allure, a gift to bring people to you on the web. It was coming to me as a spider on the web, but no, this is today's technology, not a literal spider web, the world wide web. So I just wanted to make sure that y'all got that message because when I was flipping the card, I seen <laughs> the spider web. I was like, okay, thank you for <laughs> putting me back on track. <laughs> okay, so give me one card for Aquarius, please. Okay. Ooh. You got the Anima Mundi. Anima Mundi. Okay, that's one of them big, like, uh, you know, it's like one of the uh, uh, major arcana cards in this archetypes that I don't necessarily even know what this means, but I'm just going to tell you what I'm getting from it. Just off rip. Um... It's something about you guys being centered and balanced amongst all of the elements. Uh, you got all of these symbols here. I don't know if these are runes or not. They might be. some. I don't know what those symbols are. I see a lot of different eyes. I see a lot of different crystals, um, stones, and things like that. I see these hands. These hands, right, it's gripping onto something. This hand is showing a crystal. This hand is relaxing with a ring on its on it, on its hand. So what I'm getting here is like something about you guys' connection to nature, something about to me I don't know why my eyes keep going to this. It's like, you see how this, um, you see how they're gripping on to something? You see how this hand is showing? I don't know. To me, that's like showing some type of hierarchy or something. You know, like when you go and you watch these old movies and these Elizabeth, Elizabethan movies or whatever. I don't know if I'm saying it right. How they come and kiss the ring of the king and things like that. I feel like you guys, um... Are starting to understand some type of symbols or some type of signs um, something about precious jewelry or precious jewels not even being precious jewels and legitimate jewelry but like someone receiving or actually grasping these precious jewels meaning information um, wisdom um, some type of gifts it can even be with creation it could even be with creation. You see all of these different eyes. It's like I get it. I see it now. Like I'm centered. I believe it. I'm ready to like take in every aspect or every angle of this information. Like I'm ready to grip this knowledge. I'm ready to be at one with this knowledge. I'm at a place where I'm understanding. I'm more understanding than trying to be um you know like how when people get information and instead of just trying to listen and understand what the person is trying to say, they'll take the information and want to go do their own research and this, this and that. And you can do that later, but right now just get what the message is just off the top instead of trying to make things difficult. And because it's like, I feel like people, they, they, they make things more difficult trying to go about things their own way. Sometimes it's like your mother can tell you, listen, don't touch the fire. You'll get, you'll get burned. Fire is hot. And people don't want to believe them. They want to go and try to do their own damn research. And now you had to go through a whole unnecessary experience for no fucking reason. Do y'all get what I'm saying? It's like that understanding that you don't have to. Okay, it says the soul of the world, all that is. It says winning like this cards means tending to the sacred details of life. When it dark, it means over overwhelmed by the beingness of existence. It says 
the anima mundi epitomizes the principle of accepting all and rejecting none. Simply put, it is the living soul of the world and all that is multifaceted, multidimensional layers bonded together by loving cosmic forces. Diversity is celebrated. Multiplicity is honored and nothing is denied. Um, everything is embraced. I ain't about to read all of this bullshit. I'm sorry, y'all. I totally am not about to do it because they was about to go all into some old spiritual hippy-dippy shit. I ain't got time for this shit. But, again, it's like not questioning the information or whatever, especially like when it's coming from a spiritual sense. It's like y'all learning not to question things, just taking the information for what it is instead of making shit more difficult, slowing down the process and stuff like that. It's like God would not steer you wrong. It's like your mother would not tell you to don't do something if it wasn't for your own benefit. So it's like, I feel like you guys is like kind of stepping out of your way and like, ooh, okay, okay, I okay. So let's say it says log in. News feed is always starving. Update your terms and conditions. And you see how this says two point two billion. Remember how I was saying something about your allure and your attractiveness online. I don't know if this is something that, and again, okay, so now when it's coming up with this, it's like some un acceptance, some acknowledgement. It's like you get it. It's like you're gripping the information. Regardless if this shit is right or wrong. So, like, what this is basically telling me is, like, we live in a society right now where um, people feed on drama. People feed on... Um, I want to say like just negativity. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Let's just keep it 100. So it's like, I'm not about to sit here and um, combat with myself the what wins or why's people do this. It just is what it is. It's just like if you have a page where you talk about a whole bunch of political stuff or whatever. And then someone comes to you and be like, hey, Greg. You have a very good point in everything what you're saying, but in today's society, your page is too serious. Your it's too serious. Like if you was to kind of not say to dim it down, but put a little lightheartedness and make it funny, make it more upbeat. Don't make it so where it's like you're being overcritical and everything is so serious or whatever. Try to find a way to lighten it up. Like at first, I think that you guys are more combative when people come to you with that energy. Like really, they're trying to help you and they're just trying to help you update yourself with today's days and times. I know to you it don't make sense, but it's like, you know what? You can fight with yourself and don't listen to what they're just saying and just taking it at face value. Just just listen. You know what I'm saying? And keep going the stream method that you are just to end up keep hitting a wall to find out, well, you know what? What this person, let me back myself up. Because in the first reading, it was like y'all was reaching a dead end. And I was literally telling you to like, there's no outlet right here. So, it's like, whatever you guys are doing in regards to business or something, it's like, what you're doing is good and you're making your point and everything makes sense, but you got to make sure that you have the right outlet. Like, wherever it was, it was like a dead end. Like, I had got the dead end card. Like, there was no outlet. With this one, I feel like you guys are understanding why there's no outlet or... It's like, I'm not going to force my voice here. I'm not going to force trying to make an impression here. You're understanding the allure. You understand what people want. So, you know what? I'm still going to do me naturally. Cause it's, but you see now. You see what you got to do to grip the attention of these people. For people to grasp it. For people to look. Where is it? Hold on to the information. It's something about your level of intelligence, 
the prominence, the respect that you demand. That's why I'm kind of getting to kiss the ring. Because it's like you're giving people jewels, you're giving people gifts, but you got to allure people into you to get motherfuckers on your wavelength. Do you understand what I'm saying? Log in. Log back in. Do you feel what I'm saying, Aquarius? Log back in. The news feed is always starving. You just have to change the allure. Sucking them into the web. Update your terms and conditions. Y'all know today they got like these groups and stuff like that. These membership groups and all of this stuff like that. Log back in. Update your terms and conditions. The news feed is always starving. It's the way that you serve information, I think. And it's you understanding how information is giving and how to make it more alluring, more attractive. Because it's something about when people see these certain symbols, when people, it's like these keywords, these trigger words, or these, these certain things, when people see this, it's going to attract people to click it. And you know what? I've noticed that even when I, even when I post videos online, I know how to post and word my videos to make it more alluring and more attractive. But I want I'm not here to feed people bullshit. I want to give people the real. You know what I'm saying? I want to give something that they can take back home and understand. Do you understand? It ain't all about love sometimes. Some people really, really are on here looking for guidance, looking for a message to help them figure out how to get their business off of the ground, how to turn their life around, how to get more happiness in their life, how to have their whole life flooding with enjoyment. Is this the Nine of Cups? I knew that this was the Nine of Cups. Well, you're completely fulfilled in and out living your life in complete luxury in that comfortability that glory you know what i'm saying living in the glory i got enough where i can feed myself and pass on to the needy like i have more than enough more than enough i'm overfilled to the point where i need to watch my weight i got so much i i, <laughs> I can overindulge if I don't give. Do you understand what I'm saying? So. This right here is basically telling me. And then with her outfit. It's like she got the stars and shit on her outfit. It's like. I know that I'm different. I know that I'm perfectly divine. I love you. I love all the psychedelic shit. It's like y'all have your own style. Your own style. And I like how. You see, it's like she's in the center of this web. It don't it seem like, it looks like kind of a spider web. I don't know to me. But like a funkadelic, psychedelic type of thing like that. I don't know. I just feel like you guys be on some whole totally different love and light. And uplifting empowerment shit. I feel like you guys live a life where... It's like you're free to party. You're free to love. Why I, I, I'm, I am kind of getting like a hippy dippy free love free energy uh <laughs> what i'm getting is that you guys like to enjoy life you like to live and you like to bask in the sunshine like you guys like to be around running waters you know running waters running because it's something about um like healthy flowing streams of water like people that are in touch with their emotions is what they're telling me people that are, that are not a, a afraid to speak like i'm even seeing streakers like people just have that transparent that nakedness about them you know what i'm saying like i live my life to the fullest and it's like i want to show other people how to do it it's like i want to invite people into this lifestyle and to this believing I wanted to share this air with people I want people to come and sit and enjoy watching this running water understanding nature understanding that life don't have to be perfect but god damn it every single sacrifice that you make is worth it so that you can live your life the way that you want you don't have to be perfect but you can still find a certain quality to life where it's comfortable for you and everybody around you and you can share your happiness with others like cause I don't know why I'm feeling the need to like go off 
on this tangent about you because people be on too much hate and ass shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like people don't want to see other people flourish. People don't want to see other people happy. People don't want to share information that can help other people. Have y'all ever been around somebody and it's like they know how to do something and but they don't want to teach you how to do it. It's like they're trying to hog all the information to, because they're scared like someone's going to do it better than them. Or just some weird ass shit. Like, I don't know if you've ever been in, like, a competitive industry like that. Like, um, I'm hearing something about, like, guitar riffs or something like that. And I have no idea how to play a fucking guitar. But it's like, if someone knows how to play a certain riff and you're like, oh, my God, can you teach me that? And people be... They're scared of other people's success. They're scared to let other people's stars shine. They're scared to see other people really be fulfilled in their life. Sometimes when people see other people's fulfillment, it creates jealousy. It creates envy. Uh, it creates the wrong people coming in the environment because they just want to be by the star. They just want to touch the star. They just want to drink or they just want to eat the fruits from the motherfucking star and shit like that. And it's something about the Aquarius. It's like y'all understand all of that shit. Y'all understand all of that shit, but it's something about your energy. How... I, damn, why do I feel like I just want to keep going on a tangent with y'all and just talking? Because I feel like this information needs to get out. Have you ever... Met someone that was so fixated on hating on you or not being happy for your abundance and your lightheartedness and just how comfortable you are in your life. It was like they were so fixated on coming to you with hate and then they come and then they get around this energy and they end up having so much fun, so much enjoyment. And then they, it's like, well, what the fuck was I hating this person for? So like, it's like they don't even understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was I tripping? Like, this is really a great person. I could really learn a lot from this person. This person is really trying to share all of this joy and this happiness with me. Like, what the fuck type of person am I to sit up there and hate some type of... And it makes them change and look at their self. And then now they're stepping into the light. It's something about this energy right now. Y'all understand all of that shit. You understand that people going to not like you. They're going to come to you with hate. But as soon as they come around you, they're going to be your biggest fan. And you know what I'm saying? And that's just the way it is. That's the way it is. And it's like y'all are like right here with this run of water and this light right here. It's like you just continue to be a light body person. It's just like you know your gifts. You know your standard of life. You a star. You're not going to be de uh, defeated by nobody. If it's like, if it's a dead end at, right here, I'm going to turn back around and I'm going to go down the road where my light is emanating and people understand my gift. People want to listen to what I'm saying. People are receptive to these jewels, these jewels, strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and create and courageous. It's like, I feel like people come around you for your information. Um, again, and they're just saying like these jewels, these gems. It's like, kiss the ring. It's like you've earned some level of respect. Or you will earn some level of respect. It's like once you see and you understand how people receive information. It's like you'll really see the success. You'll see the fruits of your labor. You got to log back in. The news feed is always starving. Update your terms and conditions. Understand fulfillment will come out of this. Stay strong. Stay enlightened. Don't block information. You know what I'm saying? Just take it. Just take it at face value. Because I feel like you'll get it. Like, don't go through the unnecessary steps of having to say I should have listened. Yeah, they're saying like the dead end is like you didn't. I feel like that's probably why I had to start the video over. Because it's like you ain't even have to go down that road. You know what I'm saying? So, if someone is telling you. To travel straight, make a left, you're going to go past uh, the first exit, make a right, 
or something like don't go and think you're going to veer off and think that you know what an easier way and that you're not going to take the information and you run up on a dead end and then you got to start your journey all over again do you understand what i'm saying so it says the consultant then you got the three of diamonds so the consultant i don't know if that's you i don't know if that's me i don't know if that's we but i kind of get like With the Cheryl Stanberg, the consultant. This is someone that I don't know. I don't know if you're like one of them type of Bitcoin type of people. Because the Three of Diamonds, it's like a financial advisor, like someone who gives information, like stock exchange trade because diamonds is you're already in the arena with people who have something to exchange ever wisdom some type of wisdom knowledge um spiritual enlightenment or tangible things like diamonds money uh cars houses properties like big ticket items do you understand like or, or cryptocurrency or something like that so um the three of diamonds is when you're getting information or you're being informed on how to make better investment, how to make exchanges, um, going into partnerships, things that can be more lucrative for you in the future. This is like the small money card. So, um, I don't know, maybe through the help of somebody else, you could be getting like, a small lump sum of money to start a business to start your currency exchange or something I don't know if you are taking a small amount of money and you're uh, getting help from an advisor in stocks or something like that or how to invest and uh, multiply your income through your business it's something like that I don't know if you are logging in and you yourself are becoming the advisor and you're about to see a lot of like emotional success and notoriety and fame. Again, kiss the ring. People are gripping on to this information. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's a lot of symbols like... Symbols and gems. That's It's like... It's, it's something about symbols and gems. And it's like you being the middle man of this information. Of teaching people about. I don't know if this is about currency exchange. It was another reading I was getting some information about currency exchange. And I, I can't wrap my, my brain around that Bitcoin shit. So like listen y'all definitely got to go to somebody else's page. <laughs> Because I definitely am not the one to tell you about no goddamn bitcoins. Now, the three of diamonds is a small sum of money, a payout, financial growth, partial success, partial effort, part time work, scatter energy on again, off again. Preservance is needed for success, lack of focus or commitment. In a relationship reading, it shows fickleness or change ability. You see what I'm saying? So, again, that's where I feel like the success is. I mean, not the success, the strength card is coming in. And that's why they're telling you to log in. Log in. Log in. Like, especially if it's something that you hit a dead end before and you couldn't figure out, like, how to allure people to your page, how to get the traffic or whatever log back in like don't give up the internet is still the web is still starving right or you're starving because i'm still thinking about the spider like i'm still thinking about the spider creating the spider web trying to allure big creatures for a decent meal what is she doing the nine of cups eating well harvest plentifulness so there's going to be plenty just stay strong tap back in change your conditions update your stream of media or something like that update your streaming of media or where you're streaming your 
Anyway, let me just get the fuck off of this. Let me get over the love. Because I know y'all like this bitch getting on my nerves. And she don't get the fuck on the love. Okay, now listen. Child, I'm just trying to figure out what the Lord is trying to tell me. But you guys definitely get it. Not questioning anything. So y'all are like... Fucking Aquarius. Y'all are like, I'm going to give these people the good information that they've been seeking for. But the haters or anybody that don't understand, I'm going to address them too. Because it's like something about you have to address all forms of media. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like the good, bad, and the ugly. It's like everybody has their purpose. And let there not be no confusion. It's like you address the ugly situations of business transactions, money, media, the entertainment industry, just world progress in general. It's like you address the good, the bad, and the ugly so the people that are on the good side and don't think like that can know how to operate amongst these motherfuckers, amongst these demons, these people, these bloodsuckers, these, you know what I'm saying? People that don't want to see you success and get money. That's why that fickleness right there. You can't give up. Like, you just have to change your stream immediate. You know what I'm saying? You got to give motherfuckers what they want. They want the drama. Okay, we going to talk about the drama, but we going about to talk about this shit from a success angle. And I, But I'm going to give y'all motherfuckers every goddamn thing you want. Sometimes you got to start off with a little bit of entertainment, drama, something that they wouldn't expect you to talk about and then lead it into the meat and the potatoes of your true message and give them those gems. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got to catch them. You got to pull them into your web first. So let's see what we got over here with the love situation. You got to let your friends help you and then pay attention to the red flags. Let your friends help you and pay attention to the red flags. But in the like both of these cards was trying to come out in the fucking reverse. So I don't know. It's like you are um I'm getting it's like you you gotta stay focused because they're saying the signs are all around you. Remember I was saying something about it's like signs or symbols or something. It's like pay attention because the signs is like all around you and it's like you're not focused on this at this moment. I don't know why I feel like saying that. It's, they're saying it's like you, you're losing focus, but you got to pay attention. It's like the signs and the symbols are all around you. It's like you're not letting your friends help you for some reason. And it's like it's, it's already, it's all around you. Give me two cards for love with Aquarius. Tell me what the heck is going on with this love situation with Aquarius. They're saying you're, you're focused more on your emotional success. You got the queen of torches in the reverse. They're saying that people don't understand you sometimes because they're saying that you could come off like unemotional. I don't know if it's you. They're saying someone could come off unemotional or it's like someone feels like you're not really their friend or something like that. I feel like this has some... Wait, is this... This supposed to be love, but it's talking about friendships, but that's like a different type of love too. They're saying like there's some broken bond between friendships because it's like some people feel like you don't pay attention to them um, or they don't pay attention to you and they're not your friend like that no more. You got the six of swords. It's like they're taking your energy somewhere else. It's like you're upset. It's like... it's This is what I'm getting. It's like you're taking your energy somewhere else. It's like you're upset that... um. It seems like somebody, like your relationship is falling apart, but I don't necessarily feel like this has to do with a troubled romantic relationship. I feel like this has to do with a 
trouble friendship. I want to say like you don't take your your kids around there no more. I want to say it's like you might have taken everything mainly like you yourself, your kids, your time, your mental space, and you might have moved on. Um, they're saying it's like you didn't feel like these people were your friends no more. Like you didn't feel like these people were your friends anymore. It's like so I'm not asking them for no help or support. Or anything. It's like. Y'all are just telling me. It's just best to move on. And you can be very upset about it. You can almost be angry about it. I f and I feel like it's like. You're to the point with that situation with your friends. Where you haven't. Really let go. Emotionally. But mentally you know you have to move past this. Like I can't come to them. And talk to them about things that's going on in my life anymore is and I want to say it's like you were not paying attention to you were not paying attention to the signs and the energy that would surround you because you really love them and I've done that shit before with like friends family with a whole bunch of people like you know because of who they were even though if it was someone else that I didn't really know like that. Or that was just a calling. If they was giving me the same energy. I would have been able to clock that shit all bucks. But because they are who they are. It's like I really just did not want to believe. And I was in denial. Like damn are these people giving me bad energy. Like damn are these really my friends. Damn like. It seems like a one sided situation. So give me guidance over here. On this pay attention to the red flags. I want to see if this is connected to. This friendship or. What is this? This is the Six of Torches. So, yeah, this is like, okay, y'all are basically saying that you don't come to your friends and tell them about what you're doing in regards to your love life. Even in regards to what you're creating in your life business-wise is because these people are not happy for your success. They're not happy for your growth. I, look, I've, I've been entangled with individuals like that they're all good for you and they're your friend as long as you're not doing better than them once you start doing better than them then that's when that weird shit comes like you ain't never like once shit starts moving up and going better in your life motherfuckers just start acting weird and you realize like damn i can't even come and tell them that i'm happy or that i just reached a point in my life where I really feel successful like things are really starting to accumulate in a good way for me like as soon as you go and tell motherfuckers what's going on next thing you know shit just start going wrong that's when I started to learn listen move forward in silence you never know who is your true friend and who is wishing negative energy on the blessings and the things that you're trying to create in your life these people didn't celebrate you. These people didn't really see it for your success. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are the type of people that, oh, this motherfucker about to go try to launch a hairline and all of this stuff like that. That motherfucker ain't going to do shit. Then once they see you start doing this shit, that motherfucker start hating. They don't want to come to your launch party. They don't want to do this. And then you find out people um through the grapevine, this person talking shit about you. And they said that your hair is cheap or blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, these supposed to be my friends? I'm not about to let these bitches help me with shit. Okay? I feel like you didn't want to see the truth in this situation. But it's like now I see it. Now I know. The night of torches and you've put a barrier up. You stand in your ground. You block them. You do not create in spaces with people where they have a crabs in the barrel type of mentality. Like y'all motherfuckers are being kept out. I said what I said, I meant what I said, and I'm not I'm not changing my story. I can tell my story, I can say what happened to me, and to me y'all was some fake bitches, y'all was some frenemies, you never was my friend, you never seen it for my success, you talked down on me, and you just totally changed the energy once you seen things starting to, you know, pop off of my life you weren't happy for me so because of that you're being blocked out like this don't necessarily just because it's the love portion of the reading it don't necessarily have to do with um an intimate physical relationship it could just do and deal with people that you fucking love and sometimes those other relationships my other my more personal 
relationships mean more to me sometimes than somebody that I'm just fucking. My family and my friends, people that have been in my life for years, decades, that hurt me more than anybody that I, <laughs> you know, just met. You know, so like, yeah. mm -mm. I definitely feel like if things were not going a certain way for you, it could have just honestly been just the negative people around you that did not see it for your success, that were not wishing for good and happiness to happen around you. As soon as you put your boundaries up, as soon as you put that wall up and you block those people out, watch all of this. Watch all of this fulfillment and everything come to you. You gonna have plentiful, and then people gonna like. That's when people gonna say, "Yeah, that that was my friend. I gave that person that idea. Like if it wasn't for me, blah blah, bitch, get the fuck on." Like, <laughs> like no. I'm the consultant. I'm the one that they came to see. I'm the one that give them these jewels. I'm the one that give them this information. You the one that said I couldn't do it. And that's why I took me and my motherfucking kids the fuck away from you. Nah, even the kids. No, my kids can't come hang with your kids. No. The fuck? Because if you like that, you teaching your kids to be negative like that. And uh uh uh. You ain't. Uh -uh. Why am I taking this so much? <laughs> Look, you got the axe card. Give me one more card for Aquarius. No, Aquarius said, no, I had to let him know. Like, I can't hang with you no more. I can't surround myself. Me or my kids, we cannot surround. And then you got the abundance card. I t I didn't I tell you? It's like once you cut these people off, once these people are not your friends. That's why that let your friends help you card came out in the reverse. And that pay attention to the red uh, flags came out in the reverse because it's like you didn't want to see it. But now that you see it, now that you see it, you had to cut certain people off. You had to set your barrier up. You had to have strength. Sometimes cutting people off that mean more to you because of who they are, that's the hardest thing that you have to do. It says caution. The signs are cautioning you. What did I tell you up here? Them signs. And like I said, you just being censored and just understanding. It's like you you got it now. You grip it. Certain relationships have just phased out. Certain people just get phased out. When you start growing in your life, you see people start to fall off. I understand that. I get it. It's not going to stop my abundance. I'm just going to cut you out and I'm going to keep going. And I understand now on my page or whatever the fuck I got to do. I got to talk about the good and the bad. The evil that comes around once you reach a certain level of success and abundance in your life. Do you let that stop you? Hell no. So for what people thought that they were doing was stopping you. And they thought it was going to stop your bag. Them talking about you. Them not, you know, thinking you're not going to reach success. It ain't do nothing but made you so higher and your bag and your uh, uh, friendships just got lighter. Period. I success, uh, my success and my abundance and everything that I've created, I share that with the people that are meant to be in my life. That ain't stop you from having a given heart. That haven't stopped you from a damn thing. You just don't give the people that you're not meant to give to. And when it's all said and done, these same motherfuckers sit back and be like, and she doing all of this, but I was her friend and I know, bitch, you was the wrong friend. Okay. Hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. She went up there, set that barrier up. Like, hold on, wait, bitch, what? You don't, you don't see it for me? You don't see it for my success? You running around like, what? The acts, breakup, separation. Stopping the pattern. No, I'm stopping this shit right now. Y'all bitches is not my friends. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in the business of carrying a whole bunch of fake ass people around me. I'm good. Could you imagine what your life would be like if you carried a whole bunch of fake ass people to the top with you? <laughs> Girl, I can't. Last cards. I'm going to wrap this up because I don't make this long. Every 
everything that you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. And courageous, I'm sorry. You got to keep on going. And once you get those 2.2 billion likes, all right? <laughs> now I'm hearing in my, in my, I'm hearing Michael Jackson, who's bad? <laughs> yes, who is bad? Yes, you got the Ten of Wands. I love that. And I love this Ten of Wands card. Because the Ten of Wands, it just shows you how close you are to your reality. It don't matter what the hell you had to go through, what you had to sacrifice, how long you've walked through the heat, whatever type of weather it is that you had to take to get here. You see how close you are? It's just a few more steps. Just a few more steps. So sometimes it depends on everything that's surrounded by the Ten of Wands. Sometimes the Ten of Wands could be telling you that you need to think about the baggage and the weight that you're carrying. And if it's worth continuing to carry that luggage, that load for another mile. You only got another mile. One more mile. You might have walked a hundred. Possibly a thousand. But if you only got one more mile to go after you just walked a thousand miles by foot. Would you give up at the one mile mark? No, if it's certain motherfuckers that don't need to be with me, that don't need to benefit from this hustle and bustle, from this labor, from this blood, sweat, and tears. No, you can, listen, your stop can end right here, but I'm going to keep going. I'm too close. I'm too close. So, I don't know, because now I'm getting like, I don't know if it's because of something that your friend said to you, um... Something that people did to you. I don't know what it was. But I know that you cut your losses mentally with motherfuckers. And you just focused on yourself and your children. And you're continuing to climb. You're continuing to go. Everybody can't go with you. But that don't mean that you stop your motherfucking journey. That's your journey. On their journey, it was meant for their journey to stop at that path. At that benchmark. Yours is meant to get to the finish line. Don't worry about them. You keep on going. The four cups. The four cups in the reverse is like, I've been bored with the situation. I've already, I've awakened with them myself. I know that this shit ain't, I'm better than this. I'm worthy of more. This vast lands of plenty. Why in the fuck would I sit here in this dilapidated, feeble ass goddamn land and situation with people who don't want no better for themselves? And I'm sitting up here struggling with myself about why I'm so different. Because I'm not like these bottom feeding ass motherfuckers. You sobered up. Like you might not even be drinking no more, partying no more, doing all that shit. It's like I, and, and you could have realized like being around a certain uh, a group of people, I was overindulging in certain shit that was keeping me down. I get it now. I know what I really know that will fulfill me at this point. I know what I need to fulfill me. I wasn't satisfied. That's why I was still, I don't know, they're saying you're still feeling, it's like lethargic. I'm like, because I'm like lethargic. Why are you saying lethargic? Like, have you ever just, it's like, feel dry, feel sucked down, feel weak. Like, ugh, like unable to move. It's just like, all the positivity sucked out of you. And it's like, you're sitting there wondering why. It's this environment. It's these people. I need to move on. Now you got the Queen of Wands in the upright. That's where you're supposed to be. You're beautiful. You're successful. You are skilled beyond belief. Having the, the skills, the beauty, and the brains. All of that wrapped in one. And a fearless individual as well. Sometimes it takes for you to... Um, 
wising up. Sometimes it's not only just you. It's the people around you. And you got to pay attention to what you attract. And make sure that you're in the right arena to attract the right type of people. And the right type of situations. I feel like the reason why that dead end card came out in the first reading. Is because you have reached a dead end in this situation. With this relationship. With this friendship. Like that shit is over. You're not looking for no support from them. You're not looking for no love from them. It's like. I understood and I understand why I needed to go through that. Because I need to teach that shit over here. I got to teach that shit over here because I can't just give them the good. I got to give them every single aspect of what to expect. When you're growing up and you're trying to be successful, you're going to win some and you're going to lose some. And you got to take the good and the bad. And you got to understand that even with the good, the bad has its placement. It has its placement. And this is someone that accepts all. I don't get mad at these people because what these people don't <laughs> want it with me or whatever. I don't care. That's what happens in life. So it's like you guys understanding the signs, understanding the symbols, and just being at peace with where you are supposed to naturally be in life. Not questioning anybody, not having to go through this power struggle and take a certain role by yourself for you to just understand that God told you the correct thing in the first time. So, Aquarius, this has been y'all's reading. I hope I didn't make this too long, but I really hope y'all understand. Because both of these go within each other. What you just went through... People need that information. Don't stop what you're doing. Just stop who you was doing it with. Okay? They didn't want the information. There are thousands of people. 2.2 billion. That want and that need that information. Log the fuck back in. You too close. You too close. Now you can come to them with even more vital information. Log the fuck back in. The internet is always starving. You know how to bring in that allure to you on this web. Log back in. Alright? I love y'all. Thank y'all for loving me. Peace.